It is no shocker that gamers have been getting pounded for years, for decades, right? But today, apparently, we have the last straw that broke the camel's back. And the first clip that I want to show you in this video, apparently, Sony is now filing patents to detect your sweat in the game. I know this sounds loony, this sounds conspir conspiratorial, but just wait for it is all I gotta say. Filing patents where they're trying to go after your biometrics, your fingerprints, your facial recognition and all that. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's gonna happen tomorrow, but they have filed a patent for it. Which means that they are looking to uh, see how toxic you are playing the games. Yeah, if and if they detect an ounce of toxicness in your, in your DNA. I don't know what can happen, bro. Like, I'm just saying. But I want to actually, first of all, talk about this one. So, Legacy Killer HD came out. Wait for the video. Wait for the climax. Uh, uh, okay, so this is getting insane. Where you can see 137,000 negative reviews came in the last 30 days. But what if I tell you that... 91,000, almost, let's just say 92,000 of the negative re reviews came in the last 24 to 48 hours. Yeah, yeah, it is getting insane. Like this video if you're team gamers. Dislike the video if you're like, hey, leave the multi-billion dollar company alone. <laughs> I want to know where you guys at. And guys, with this one, we just got to get right into it. Uh, also, check out the link tree in the pinned comment in the description to catch up on all my second channels, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and all that. Appreciate all the, the support that you guys have been showing but this first clip is insane and we have a bunch of other stuff that i want to share with you as well roll this safer and then just let the devs cook i won't give up on sony because clearly they're capable of making peak quite often but my god have they been making some stupid design decisions these past few years like the fact sony has been pursuing a patent that uses biometric data called harassment detection apparatus and yeah. method is insane to me the patent would allegedly allow sony to detect if a player is engaging in harassment through their biometric data showing a spike in emotions so they can see if a player is being harassed based on their heartbeat increasing, for example. This is something being discussed being used via the VR headset or even the controller to some extent. But this is what I mean. This kind of technology is ridiculous, and if this were to become a thing one day, it would lead to the biggest mass exodus possible in gaming. Because imagine you're playing a game, you get killed and you get angry, and then boom, the game just closes itself because your biometric data yeah. says that you're in a state of grief or something. Apparently, imagine, imagine this, and I can. I, and the, the saddest thing is that I can see these suckers do something like that, bruh. I can see these suckers do that in the next five years, ten years. They filed a patent. Now, obviously, filing patents doesn't mean that it's 100% gonna happen. But think about it. The reason they filed it is because they're thinking about it. This is how the mafia works, motherfuckers. This is how it works. First, they think about it. Second, they file patents so they secure the position so nobody else, like, steals their ideas. Uh, legally, at least, right? Because if somebody tries to, they can always, like, sue them and whatnot. So this is why they, they file patents to just secure the idea so they can use it perhaps in the future they are thinking about it and the fact that they're even thinking about it goes to show you where we are headed right now but before i get back to that there's a lot of other stuff that needs to be covered here guys clench your butt cheeks and if you're rolling a fat doobie around i i, I wish i could say uh, I, I wish I could say psych right now, but stop rolling your face. They put their mental illnesses in their bio on Twitter. They rock the anime profile picture and they get obscenely butthurt if you make fun of them for spending hundreds of dollars to play digital dress up in their first person shooter meant for children and boomers. Yeah, we're there. And if you don't like the R word I used earlier, just pretend I'm Robert Downey Jr. in blackface and maybe it'll be easier to swallow. I want to talk about Helldivers 2 though and what's happened right. okay. since yesterday. I Not to too us. much, but enough has happened. N not too much. Seconds have dropped apparently 91,000, 92,000 reviews in the last 24 hours. Yeah, not much has happened. And before we, uh, before I forget, Helldivers 2 on Steam is now unable to purchase in numerous countries after it was announced that a PSN login will soon be required. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, people thought that they're gonna have like a month because that's what Sony was kind of pushing like in a month from now. You, you need to, you better. You better, you better have a PlayStation <laughs> metric login, okay? You better log in right now so in a month from now, we don't stop access uh, to you uh, playing the game. And, and this is, uh, of course, like if you have purchased the game on PC, full price right this also applies to you as well so if you don't pony up you cannot play 
it's aware I, I think I need to cover it in a follow-up okay. video because god damn it I'm uh -oh. proud of you guys I, I truly am I seriously have never seen a, a player base come together with this amount of solidarity before I don't think ever seriously I'm very proud of you now yes I saw the comments some comments on yesterday's video given that uh, Call of Duty little dick energy saying like ah, if you don't like it don't play it or they'll say uh, I don't see the big deal just make a PSN account uh, you can explain it to them you could literally spell it out for them but if it doesn't affect them they don't care yeah. and those people you're fucking assholes and you're yeah. also a paste eating <laughs> moron yeah. but yeah. I, I yeah, digress yeah. let's talk about the positives here what's happened since yesterday well uh, the reviews on Steam speak for themselves. I, I truly can't believe how on the same page people are with this. Bravo. Golf clap. Seriously. If Sony does not walk this back straight yeah. up, they just don't care. And they, they better say psych. They better say psych right now because apparently the community manager, we're going to uh, get into that. Apparently the community manager that, that said gamers are toxic. You know what? Like, hey, refund the game. Don't play our games. Yeah, you can always refund the game, right? You can always not play our game. Community manager said that, right? So there's drama about it. Now the community manager comes out and says psych. He said psych. He said psych. Bruh. He said psych. You're about to see it. I'm really not happy to see how the community manager actually handled this. Check uh -oh. this out. It's yeah, not like this is the first or even the 14th mainstream game to require a third-party account. That takes a couple minutes to create, but if it's a deal breaker to have to take 120 seconds out of your day to enter an email and password and then forget about it, change your Steam review and make your displeasure known on a platform where it matters. Spitz, I gotta say, that is some dumb advice, my friend, because a ton of people did that. I'm so sorry, but I am at the point where if a company disrespects me, either, you know, intentionally or otherwise, if they treat me like I'm an idiot, I'm done with them. I'm done with them. They can pound sand. This legitimately happened yesterday. Oh, I, yeah, I had true. the screenshot. Based on true events, based on real story, and brother also got screenshots though. Oh, oh no, man. Oh no, what are we gonna do right now? We got screenshots as well. <laughs> now, based on true events, guys. Shots to prove events. it. Look at this, and then I'll get back into the Helldiver stuff. But th okay. this is like something I, I just need to show you guys because this is the man I have become and if I can be so bold here, I quite like the men I've become. I get this little, uh, you know, notification from Chipotle saying, Hey, we got a deal going on right now. No delivery fees through the app. I, uh -huh. I look at it and I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. I like Chipotle, but their prices are getting insane. I mean, the prices of everything is, is getting insane. But I'm like, okay, no delivery fees. That'll cut down on the prices some. I open up the app and I see this. Cinco all week long with zero dollar delivery fee. Use code Cinco24 now through May 5th to make your Cinco. Oh, and it's not a zero dollar delivery, right? Mumbaka. There, there's like a loophole with it. it yeah, so it says uh, at the bottom with uh, apostrophe. Asterisk or apo no, not apostrophe, uh, asterisk, my bad. Uh, uh, yeah, so asterisk, higher menu prices and add will add okay so they're asking you to add service fees okay add service fees apply ten dollars minimum two hundred dollars maximum excluding tax five one so first of may through fifth of may full terms read that yeah bum think a week a little extra look at the asterisk higher uh -oh, menu uh -oh. prices and additional service fees apply i i look at that and i'm like what wait you're giving me zero dollar delivery fee but you're raising the menu prices <laughs> i have to ask this is like this is like the same thing right where when you see like 50 percent discount the, the shop on owner just raises the price by 200 percent first right and then reduce it to, to original but basically they put like a fake pricing was two hundred dollars and now it's hundred dollars the product was always a hundred dollars dog you just said it was it doesn't mean that it really was. You just said it was, okay? Which doesn't mean that it was. You catch my drift Bruh. right now? Maybe I lost you already, but but you know, they would fake it that, hey, the price was $200, but now selling for $100 with a 50% off. And yeah, this is how they get you firing dopamine. This is like uh, uh, to make you, or to bring you in the ecosystem of purchasing. So yeah. 
what is the point? Damn, I went to Reddit right and I saw this. This zero dollar delivery fee promo does literally nothing to the price and is so misleading. Ooh. My usual Chipotle order is 20 point xx before tip crazy oh there is my no God, difference in cost bro. dog like i went to uh i went outside yeah Bruh. yeah 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 me yeah yeah i went outside with my homies the other day and my homies were like okay well we'll order poutine right like uh, poutine uh, i'm in montreal canada so you see yeah plein monkey minds of poutine be long trop gras après ça non les heart attack les heart disease les le disease à coeur Ouais, exactement. So, yeah, so basically they order poutine. It's like uh, a cheese, uh, french fries, and a little bit of sauce. It's kind of, you know, once in a while it's kind of good. I remember, like, it used to cost, like, a five bucks. And now it's apparently, they order it for 25 bucks. <laughs> plus, plus taxes. So it was almost around, like, 27 $28. Dollars. Dog, for $28. Dollars, you know, back in my days, we could have gone to a fancy restaurant. We could have order steaks for twenty eight dollars. You say it's crazy. You say it's crazy, and for twenty eight dollars, you get like a small bowl of bowl of poutine. And they were crying, and I just ordered like onion rings. First of all, I wasn't that hungry, and secondly, I, 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 you know, I was like, okay, let me order onion rings. Eight dollars, bro. Bruh. Eight dollars, bro. I can go to China right now. I can get the. Two dozens, uh, two dozen onions plus rings and everything. Bruh. I can bring the entire, <laughs> the, the, like, the farm of onions here in Canada and still have a penny left, bruh. Like, what are we talking about? I deleted the app and I am never going to Chipotle again. Yeah. They may as well <laughs> have spit in my face. Why even waste my time showing me this? It's just yeah. a trick. You're treating me like an idiot. No. Pound sand. I'm not going back. I will cook at home. You know, I, I recently had Double. a falling out with Wendy's. Not like Wendy herself, but the, the restaurant chain. You see, fast food, it's supposed to be fast and it's supposed to be cheap. But with inflation, it's it's not cheap anymore. Yeah, and okay, let's get down to the drama. Let's get down to the drama here. Anyway, let me segue yeah. back into Helldivers 2 here. Oh, because finally. Because I want to show you what the community manager said after that initial statement and say tell psych, me as a player if you would see this and still want to play the game honestly because i wouldn't with the stuff i just told you if i saw this and i was currently playing helldivers 2 i would stop playing it straight up this guy in the discord says this will kill helldivers 2 on steam a backpedal or lose your player base yeah spit says i thought you were refunding and leaving and the tweet says, real class act, that one. Yeah, no, if I saw that, I would refund, I would wait for it, leave, and I would leave a negative review for your game. I would probably also, I don't know, walk past Sony HQ one day if I'm in the area and crop dust them while I'm <sighs> at it. Oh, but wait, oh, but wait, he, he actually walked it back, guys, it's okay. Oh, uh, new no. updates from Spitz, says the Helldivers 2 media Twitter. Spitz says, yeah, I was completely unaware how many countries didn't have the ability to make a PSN account when I made that statement. I deeply regret implying that it was so easy for everyone to just sign up and not have to worry about it. It's absolutely not our intention to force people to break Sony TOS or just not play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is why my non-existing uh, dog actually bites people. Yeah, go woof woof on that motherfucker out there, bruh. Yeah, this is a classic example of saying psych. Uh, so brother just said psych and um, case closed right there. Play the game if they're in a restricted region. There needs to be a better solution. And while I agree with you, too little too late. You said what you said, and maybe if you took your own advice and took 120 seconds just to look and see what this actually did, you wouldn't have said something so stupid. Spitz? Yeah. Oh my god, man. Crazy, bro. Absolutely Let's insane. go over all this, though, if you're like uh -oh. stretched for time and you don't want to look uh -oh. it up. I mean, I'll, I'll make it very simple for you. Th this tweet pretty much covers it from rock solid here. Yeah, and uh, okay. I got In another short, one that I want to show you. Eldive right after I got another thing that's Verse very 2 important. has great reputation and massive player base. Sony makes the devs roll out an update that will require everyone playing to have a PlayStation Network account connected. The only previous mention of this requirement is in a small box.
box on Steam. Over 60. Yeah, so this is uh, something. Over 60, uh, 60 countries cannot make a PlayStation uh, Network account. And also, they say community manager downplays the entire situation and describe it as just a two minute process. Yeah, guys, only take 120 seconds, 120 seconds, but. I think you would love to hear this. Okay, <clears throat> let me actually get in my, in my original voice here. Guys, you're not ready for this one. If you're thinking about rolling a fat doobie, forget about it, okay? So Check if you're this. a player in, let's say, Egypt, to keep it simple, you'd have to basically play Helldivers 2 with a VPN and trick Sony's PSN ping system into believing that you live somewhere else. So now Helldivers yeah. 2, if you live outside of those 69 countries, you basically have to pay extra to play Helldivers 2. Yeah, it, PC players always say, and this is something that I truly want to see come into consoles as well, where they, they gotta make online absolutely free. Like the video if you agree. Make PlayStation Network f uh, fully free. Make Xbox Live service free. Whether you're a Sony pony, Xbox Andy, gamer, Toxic gamer, whatever label they want to give you, hey man, as a gamer, I mean, listen, bro, they gotta make it free, and I know for the longest amount of time, it still is, don't get me wrong, why am I saying it in, like, past tense, uh, for the longest, nah, bro, but, but seriously, or like, if you're, if you're now somebody that's living in a country where PlayStation Network is not, uh, available as a service, and you wanna play Helldivers, you wanna play Helldivers, you then have to make an account for, uh, you cannot even make an account, right, because the network, uh, doesn't even exist, like, duh, so, like, forget about it, but if you, if you want to, then you have to purchase a subscription of... The, the the VPN so technically you're paying for your internet you're paying for a VPN <laughs> and now uh, you can play the game just insane why we gotta go through th this many hoops why 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 online now going forward so get this is not very dog. cash money of Sony at all and kind of dismantles the entire point of this mandatory account sign in from the get go because get they're gonna end up pushing away players or punishing them for things that are outside of their control but like I said, the real reason why Sony is doing this is likely just to beef up their PlayStation Network numbers. Yeah. Like I said previously, the majority of Helldivers players are on PC, so of those 8 million plus copies sold, I mean, that's a lot Sheesh. of potential PSN accounts being registered Sheesh. into their services. Yeah, I can see them, like, doing their earnings call and be boasting about, hey man, in the last month, well, we got 4 million, let's just say ha ha half of the Helldivers user, right? Uh, something like that. Half of them, or 4 million out of 8 million, 4, uh, 4 million new accounts, and then their stock rises, and I, I feel like that this is why they're doing it, and, and later on there's also conspiracies right now uh, and a lot of rumors speculation going around that in the future which is always a possibility let's be real but uh, but conspiracies that later down the road Sony can make a thing where you have to actually pay for PlayStation Plus to play PlayStation games on PC Steam. Yeah, I, I, it's, a, it's a rumor, not even a rumor, it's speculation like I'm saying, uh, like I was saying, uh, it's speculation but hey man think about it right like these companies Probably, they, they, they don't view their customers as fans, they view all their customers, myself included, you guys watching as well, as dollar signs. So do you really put past them? Abs like, come on now, bro. Like, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. I think it's naive to think that they would not do that in the future. Maybe, maybe if this goes through, if nobody talks about it, and if this goes through 5 years, 10 years from now, it certainly seems very, very realistic that they will do something like that and double the price on top as well. It would sure. obviously make Sony's next quarterly earnings report look amazing if they told investors, hey, we just got like six or seven million new PSN accounts from this yeah, one game. Yeah, Our yeah. growth has exploded and then investors get happy and they invest more and so on and so on. So I get why Sony would want to do this. I'm not defending them, of course, because I think it's clearly not going over well. Are punishing Ow. them for things that are outside of their control. Well, like I said, the real reason why Sony is doing this is likely just to beef up their has been smashed with negative reviews like crazy. The game used to be very positive, but here's this tweet from Steam Database where they show right here that around 65% oh, of the more recent reviews left by players on Steam have gone from very positive to mixed, which is yeah. obviously not good at all. And, and update, now it's like closer to 92,000, right? Actually, if we look deeper here, Steam Database confirms that Helldivers 2 has received around 14,000 negative reviews Holy. since this news broke, which is, yeah, that's not good at all, fellas. Yeah. Remember that reviews can only be left by people who actually own and purchase the game on Steam. 
So that's 14,000 players right there sticking a middle finger to Sony. If we take those numbers and multiply it by Helldivers 2's base release price, that's around $700,000 worth of players oh being upset with you. So that's not a small amount of money, fellas. That's kind of insane. Hey, yo, can a brother get two pennies or something like and that? And all over right? social media, I'm seeing people cancel their PSN and refund Helldivers 2. So this <laughs> change is clearly not yeah. going over well whatsoever, but it keeps getting worse somehow. Like, sell and drag- you, you, I wonder, like, if any of you watching that actually plays this game and that is affected by it, because there are a lot of people that are saying, that, well, uh, you know what, just make a PlayStation Network account. First of all, like, I don't have Helldivers. Secondly, I do play on PlayStation, so I have a PlayStation Network account, so, of course, this doesn't bother me, but it's not about me. It's not about people that have PlayStation Network account. It's not about that. It's about the principle, and more so than that, it's about- uh, of course, people that bought the game on PC and that are also in countries where PlayStation Network doesn't exist. Like, hey, tough love, right? Uh, shocker, spoiler alert, uh, North America is not, like, the entire world. I'm in North America, I'm in Canada, uh, you might be in the US watching this video, but hey man, listen, like, whoa, I, I know, I know it's crazy, I know it's crazy. Uh, we're not the center of the universe, okay? Like, uh, we're not the only one. There are a lot of other countries, 200 plus countries that exist as well, so this is gonna affect, and is already affecting a lot of other people, and more so than that, like I was saying, it's also about the principle as well because they're testing gamers right now how far they can push this and the more we let them push this the more they're gonna do uh, crap like that dragon ball z the situation keeps evolving into even deadlier forms twitter user master of the tds who regularly scans many publishers and platforms for signs of dishonest engagement has confirmed that sony playstation has now resorted to botting their posts when it comes to helldivers 2 in order to spread false positive feedback this wouldn't even be the first time since, as the master of the TDS has shown in the past, Sony has used bots prior to the release of Helldivers 2 already when it came to promoting their game. So this just keeps happening, it seems, but beyond the botting and no all way. that, it just keeps getting worse somehow. No so way. almost a month ago, we all found out that Helldivers 2's primary community manager is a woke woman, who attempted to smear her own game community and confirm that Helldivers 2 has always been woke, which didn't go over well at all. She has since been pretty silent when it comes to things because likely the higher-ups at Arrowhead told her yeah. to shut up and sit down, which is good of them to do because she was- Yeah, we, we covered this news not long ago and apparently that community manager started spewing like bull squash and gibberish and started telling gamers that hey, the, the Helldivers game that you're playing right now is made by, by the woke devs. Like, what?! Bruh, we ain't even talking about that. Yeah, you can be a wokey working on the game, right? But as long as you're not uh, pushing that narrative down other people's throats, and as long as your game is good, people don't give a damn about it. So apparently that wokey, uh, wokey lunatic uh, community manager came out at the time when everybody was talking about Sweet Baby Inc. And people are still talking rightfully so, and understandably so. They're talking about Force Diversity, DEI, and all that bull squash that's happening in gaming, right? So when that was happening, just like couple of weeks ago right that's when the community manager comes out says that hey man like guess what guess what we have wokey devs here right that are working on hell divers you completely lost the plot yeah you can be part of lgbt you can be part of a wokey crowd or lgb or non-lgb you can be straight uh not straight uh you can be religious not religious you can be uh white purple black brown it doesn't even matter as long as you're a good uh, i guess uh talented dev that knows what's happening and that makes games for the audience like making for gamers and if the game is good and you're not pushing woke ideologies and identities politics or none of that crap you're just simply making a good game people you know what spoiler alert people don't care yeah people don't care people just want a good product they just want a good game and, and that's it and want to be treated fairly i feel like that this only happens in gaming nowhere else it happens generally speaking of course there are exceptions as well but generally speaking the customer is always right in all the other fields it just happens to be that in gaming you pay for the game you buy microtransactions you pay for the subscriptions all my subscription whether it's playstation plus or xbox i know some of you are like well because um, i play on place um, i play on pc man uh online free from you online okay yeah for, let's uh, yeah okay i get it but for people that are on playstation and xbox we support the games we buy the games and then in return we get insulted as well. Gamers are the only ones that pay for the product and then get pounded. Then get like, yeah, then we get all, uh, we all get insulted. Only happens in gaming.
primarily. But guys, this also happened, not sure if you guys were able to catch this uh, video clip that we have uh, going around right now. I'm not sure if you were able to catch this. Check this out. Apparently, they don't want you seeing this here. So check it out, and I'll see you right there. On the left, this video is my second channel. Yeah, second channel, guys, second channel. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.